Hello. Let me show you how I created uh, the Word document that uh, injects shellcode, that largest calculator, so that I could uh, test uh, Emmet and Windows uh, 10. So here I have uh, assembly code. Let's open a command line. And this uh, is a shell code that will launch uh, calc.exe. So let's uh, assemble this. So let's create the shell code in a bin file. And this is uh, the shell code we want to assemble. And now we can use uh, my shellcode tool to VBA to convert this shellcode. So make sure you take the bin file, not the ASM file. And now we can create a VBA TXT file. Okay, so this here is VBA code that contains and launches uh, the 32-bit uh, shell code. So I can just put that into Word. Like this. So let me copy this and put this in the VBA editor. And let me save this. Here, doc one, a doc file, and let's call this calc shell code. Like this, and now if we run this shell code. Here, I made a typo here. Sorry. So let's run this again. Okay, and you can see that the calculator gets launched via the shell code. So let's save this. So this is the 32-bit version for 32-bit uh, Word. Now if you uh, want to create a version that uh, supports both uh, Word versions, so 32-bit and 64-bit, you can do the following. So I have also assembly code for 64-bit, uh, so let's assemble this. This is um, the assembler code, so let's create a bin file like this. And then with shell code to VBA, we also convert it to VBA. But we have to tell it that we have to deal with 64-bit uh, here, with this option. And then also, since we are going to uh, include the same functions from 32-bit and 64-bit into the VBA. I'm going to add a prefix, uh, suffix, sorry, to the functions x64. And now we can convert it. Make sure you take the bin file. Okay vba.txt 
And now I can edit this. Okay, this file. I can here see with uh, pointer save that um, this is the 64 bit uh, version. So let us copy this. Like this, the declarations here. And we put them here in Word. So we want to test if win 64, then we have this code and else we have the 32 bit declarations. Like this. And then we can copy everything else here. The VBA functions for 64 bit shell code. Like this. Here. And then we can just create a function, launch, sorry, sub, launch, like this, if win 64, then we launch this function. And else we launch the 32 bit version. So we can save this. And now, if we execute this, so we get again the calculator. But if we do this on 64 bit, uh, Windows, no, 64-bit Word, then we also get uh, the calculator launched via 64-bit uh, shellcode.